Greetings and salutations to all of you lovely and beautiful people out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to yet another installment of Counter Reaction. So, in today's episode, I'm going to be taking a look at Eminem Habits featuring White Gold, and this is the official audio. I'm pretty sure some music videos are going to be coming out, rolling out in the next few weeks and months here for this album. I was looking at, uh, at all the songs, there's a lot of skits. It wouldn't be an Eminem album if there weren't skits, if there wasn't some comedic relief. Now, I haven't listened to any of the skits, so I don't know as to whether or not they are comedic, but I would imagine it being Eminem that they are. So, at some point, I'll probably go through those, but um, yeah, don't know what to expect. I feel like I've heard White Gold before. I think there was a time where I was reacting to an Eminem song. I'm like, who the fuck is White Gold? And to be honest, I don't remember being all that impressed. But I'm always excited for new M. I'm so glad this is out. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Been waiting a long time for this shit. Long time no see. Thought you got rid of my ass, huh? <laughs> Alright, here's what we're gonna do. You take this. Or I put a bullet between your fucking eyes. Here. Fuck no. We'll split it. No. Half an out of van. I'm driving straight out of van in a black sedan. Fast as I can in Pakistan. Getting chased by Pakistans. You know how I roll, bitch. I'm an avalanche. It's my shit. I'm gonna spit it how I wanna spit it. Whoever gets offended, suck a dick and fuck a critic. I'm about to get retarded on this motherfucker. Production's chitty. crazy. You can't say retarded. Shut up, midget. Shut up, Been trying to break the habit of saying any R words. But I'm still an addict, so it's getting. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's funny. I like that. I like that. Those are two things that aren't socially acceptable saying the r word as well as um the little people one i mean i honestly don't give a shit about being canceled so i would say these words my thing is i'm a very respectful person i just don't want to offend anybody if people get offended i usually don't care but like i'm not trying i don't even know why i'm explaining it, it doesn't matter but uh let's rewind it a little bit at a van, I'm driving straight out of van in a black sedan, fast as I can in Pakistan, getting chased by Pakistans. You know how I roll, bitch. I'm an avalanche. It's my shit, I'm gonna spit it how I wanna spit it. Whoever gets offended, suck a dick and fuck a critic. I'm about to get retarded on this motherfucking shit. It. You can't be say retarded. Shut up, midget. Shut up. I've been trying to break the habit of saying any R words, but I'm still an addict, so it's getting harder. Been calling bitches hoes since a kindergartner. Since Jimmy Carter, now I'm kitty cornered, mm. sitting in PC court with a a shitty lawyer Ooh. like them you got an addiction man yeah i thought he was a singer i know you gold. can't get rid of me forever because you know that i'm prescription man god damn i miss you slim Woo. you got an addiction man i know you can't get rid of me forever because you know that i'm prescription man next time i'll be in your yeah. van was just a kid from Detroit who knew how to destroy the booth and had a point to prove in a minute. Then the mist of poison youth sentences. Mm. I'm pinning uh. art just a toy with you, okay, which yeah. is a joy to do. Slim it. is just nice. a nice. lyricist here to voice his true sentiments. Yeah, Got the women like pissed and it seems like men are just what? off growing a huge clitoris. Pussies, yeah, okay. probably annoyed a few feminists. I like that. I reminisce on them blowing up views mm. over my points of view. Still, I'm devoid of two shits to give. My thinking like is that. primitive, but when it comes to giving it to anybody, boy is Bruce generous. Wow. And about as much of a boy. Is like Bruce Jenner is okay, I'm not like a boy, that. I'm a man, bitch. Man, bitch. My speech is free, it's his choice to choose gender. Okay. Is this shit is like opioid abuse, isn't it? Yep. You got an addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever because you know that I'm prescription, man. God, I like the, the bars that were sprinkled in there. They're always really clever. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes it's like Eminem, yo, I fuck with you, bro, but just because something rhymes or because it's clever doesn't mean it needs to be said doesn't mean it's it's dope you know sometimes it's a lot of that when i listen to to mr goat you know what i mean but you know sometimes it's just a mixed bag this is pretty solid so far i, I really like the beat and i like how he's attacking it for the most part damn i miss you slim Woo! you got an addiction man and the, the course isn't bad either you know that I'm it's not bad Next time I'll be in your bed There's times when I lay down to sleep I argue with myself mm. and I, I like how dark it is thinks it's way too, I need help mm. Just a little bit No, mm. not a bit I really, really gotta quit Something's wrong with me 
production is crazy. Look at you. What's the matter with you people? You're sad that people are mean. Well, I'm sorry. The world is in one big liberal arts college campus. You. You're all pricks. Mom shaming. Dad shaming. Yeah. Fat shaming. Man. That sounded like a South Park character. Black cry babies attack shady when mad cause they can't tame me they come to censors like the avengers and they assemble like prince and then turn a word like ginger into the n word all these pronouns i can't remember they of them theirs his or him hers into them girls who bought tits to get attention then get hit on by ugly men who are not in your league so you pretend you're a victim and meet to them outrage how fake nowadays some gals they just cloud chase okay. look at me with sour grapes and your brow raised like bitch you that. ain't about head about face like little that. white middle age upper middle class with a glass of wine and your cigarette bitch get off the internet you ain't even fed your kids dinner yet parental like discretion men i'm gonna rewind it i thought somebody was knocking on my door Grapes and your brow raised, like bitch. That. You ain't about head, about face. Whoa. Little white, like middle age, upper middle class with a glass of wine and your cigarette, bitch. Get off the internet. Yeah. You ain't even fed your kids dinner yet. Yeah. Parental discretion, mental aggression. My head's a Smith and mm. Wesson. You're messing with a lethal weapon like an evil stepdad. I got it infrared like a ginger step kid who pissed the bed. I do this shit in jest and it's just a mess in every day. Right. And if men want to wear right. lipstick and women's underwear, who cares? This shit is their business, not bear. Witness beware, bitches the blare. Which on you scared, bitches some mm. surreptitious and square business. Just attack my therapy. With the pair of scissors like Merry Christmas dresses A hairy like Christian that. terrorist with the hair trigger But with these buttons I'm always pushing Pain I'm always inflicting Protesters outside the shady offices live it mm. It'll make you think that you had the game unlocked till they pick it mm. Only wait for me to explain it, yes I'm conflicted Walking on next shows like if I take it too far is this it Part of me gets it and wants to say I'm sorry and fix it mm. So all my statements are basically contradictive Like using the F word for gay is wrong and offensive And it's insensitive as if me saying the R word isn't Wait a minute, which R word? Rape or retarded digit? Not cool man. With this rhyme be okay if South Parker did it Okay, screw you guys Would it make you less angry if Carbon spit it? God damn it. And as far as what I just stated regarding midgets You'll probably think I'll just say that I'm playing and I'm not a minted guy. Yeah. So I, like I gotta that. see one of them little Double fuckers down, come man. at me. I'll pick it up by his legs and drop it and kick it. Uh, Marshall, like you wicked face it. You are addicted, but they gon' do me the same as the baby with all of this shit. Watch. Chappelle and Colin, they're calling shady, misogynistic. While like raising three daughters, two graduated from college with honor. Summa cum laude, my sense of humor is probably twisted. It's painfully obvious. You got an addiction, man. I like I that. Me, that was a strong verse. You know very, man. very strong God verse. Damn, I miss you, son. Hey, you got an mm. addiction, man. I know you can't get rid of me forever Cause you know that I'm prescription, man Next time I'll be in your vents I'm just playing little people You know I love you There it is There it is The signature Okay I love how the beat somewhat evolved Throughout the song I always like evolution in music Especially when it all makes sense and it's cohesive and there's no clashing of different uh, different instruments. But the song itself, I mean, habits, right? It's There's a lot here that's pretty self-explanatory. There was a few bars as well. A few bars, some creative. I'm sure some went over my head. I don't, I don't, I didn't pause to break anything down. Um, but there was the last verse really, really strong. He was going in and out of different pockets, different cadences and nothing egregious. Does this one make a playlist though? I don't know if this is something that I would bump, but because I respect the writing within it, especially the last verse, I mean, fuck man. I, I had a buddy at work try to show me some artists that were newer, right? And I told him, like, you know, I need to stay away from music because I might react to them and I, it needs to be genuine. It has to be the first time. And he's like, you're, you're probably not going to react to these guys. These are like some underground guys that I think are going to pop at some point, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right, are they lyricists? Whatever. Yes, they're, they're lyricists. I listen to them and I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm sorry, bro. But you probably didn't know this about me. It's all good. You just started here. Let me show you some of my music. Let me show you how I write. 
and that ended that conversation. It was a great conversation afterward. I'm not going to go into detail as to what happened or what transpired afterward. Just know that I earned a fan. Um, but does this song make a playlist again? I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I'm kind of on the fence because of what I just mentioned. There's not many great lyricists out there right now. And I want to give M the proper shine. So I might listen to it again. I'll put it on a playlist. I'll put it on a playlist. It's getting harder and harder to find lyricists that I respect making decent to great music. So just um you know, I guess by by proxy it's just it's just got to be added. It's just got to be added. But uh, that is going to be all for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. It is greatly appreciated as always. And I do hope to catch you all on the next one.